Hey guys, so today we're going to get into part two of my lesson on accenting our fills and making them a little more spicy. Last time we talked about thinking of our accents as quarter notes or eighth notes over a stream of sixteenth notes. Now we're going to talk about different possibilities where we introduce dotted eighths tied to a sixteenth or two sixteenths together. Um, now we're going to get different rhythmic sounds from that. We're also going to be using our left hand now to accent, which is going to make it um, technically a bit different because last time we were only talking about using our right hand. So if we take a dotted eighth tied to a sixteenth, that would be the first and the fourth partial of the sixteenth note. One, E, and, a. Uh. If we do two sixteenth notes together, it would take up the first two partials of a sixteenth note, the one and the E. Now to get used to using these accents over a sixteenth note roll, try a measure of quarter note accents and then a measure of dotted eighth notes with a sixteenth. Switch between the two until you get comfortable and then try out different patterns. Do the same for the two sixteenths. Do a measure where you're only accenting the one, and then do a measure where you're accenting the one and the E every time. When you get used to switching between those all, try combining them in different ways in the measure. Try moving them around the kit onto the toms. You'll get some cool spicy stuff out of that. Here are some examples of how you could practice it. That's it for today's lesson. I kept it pretty simple. I want you guys to make up your own patterns that work for you. Just get to using those accent patterns and then the, the phrasings will come to you naturally. Um, I got a broken foot. To... It's going to be about another month or so until I'm playing shows, but it should be back to normal soon. Till then, I'm looking at as a month to work on my left side. Hope you guys all took something from that. Make it your own and uh, come up with your own phrasing with these ideas. They're very loose and open because I want you to be the one that makes up your own language out of these patterns and rhythms. So keep practicing, keep at it, and I'll see you guys next time.